let's consider the calculation of the fanning friction factor which is also called the skin friction coefficient it's defined in the following fashion and so you take the wall shear and you non-dimensionalize it by a reference dynamic pressure or you can also think of this as a mean kinetic energy density now if the flow by isothermal uh, you know this is constant but since we have heating the flow is going to be uh, speeding up and so the mean kinetic energy density actually increases so how do we deal with that we can evaluate um, rho bar using the ideal gas law and here we use the ambient pressure because the pressure in the pipe is not going to vary very much compared to ambient if you look at the absolute pressure and the temperature we use the mixed mean temperature which is like an average temperature so now we have the mean density and <clears throat> then I've now the mass flow rate at any cross-section has to be constant conservation of mass and that's given by this expression here okay and I can rearrange that to get an expression for the mean um, velocity so I have both u bar and rho bar and I can write a final expression for the mean kinetic energy density at uh, any location and you can see that that is a function of the mixed mean temperature and I've plugged in the numbers and I got this this constant and um, and I, I'll show you how I evaluated m dot so m dot I just you know so the denominator of the mixed mean temperature when we evaluated it previously was basically m dot so I copied that expression and created a new variable and I call it m dot and here's the m dot I got uh, the mass flow rate through uh, this is at uh, location x equal to 2.67 this should not vary with location and then I calculated uh, then I implemented um, this expression here so and if I look at that expression I'll show you my implementation okay um, so I probe the wall shear at at the location at which I need the wall shear so what I did was I created a location okay I did location point and that's a point I created so it was a 2.67 and 0.0294 which is the radius and I can look at that location so let me turn this off let me turn this off and turn on the wireframe and zoom in here so you can see I created that location and I can now probe the wall shear at that location that's what I did okay and all these you can you know this function this variable etc you can get by right clicking I divided by that factor that from which I had on my PowerPoint slide I gave it the appropriate units and then um, I had the mixed mean temperature at that location which I already calculated so that's so the denominator is that and that's the implementation and I got a uh, friction factor of fanning friction factor of about 4.8 10 to the power of minus 3 and you can you know so you can implement this at a different location so you can just cr you can duplicate it and then you can duplicate the location and so on so just by duplicating you can um, and modifying you can implement it at different locations and when I did that for a different data set let me show you the result this is the result I got so if you look at the variation it's pretty small um, this is you know halfway across the heated section it's about a two percent variation and it's actually decreasing slightly as opposed to the wall shear but to first order we can assume that the friction factor the fanning friction factor is almost constant 
what that implies is so the wall shear is increasing because of heating the mean kinetic energy density is increasing because of heating but they are increasing approximately at the same rate so that to first order that is constant